Probably the nicest thing about the camper van is strangely the 10 hour drive home or 24 hour drive home or however long it takes. You have a bit of time to chill out, drive through Glen Cove, come round Balahulish Bridge and you feel like you're coming home. And I think that's it's sort of almost part of the racing process for me. I've done it from the start. It's a hell of a journey, but you kind of enjoy it at the end. Fort William or the Muddy Ruts or the boys or just something that you love. And yes, yeah, well worth the drive. So being at a race is what it's all about. That's what we train for, ride for, love pushing, love going fast. But then you come home and the pace of life changes. The stresses are all gone. Fort William is casual. The boys are next door. The clubhouse is there. Friends and family are about and it's a really cool place to grow up in. Yeah, when I was 12, my parents took me and my sister away sailing for a year, which was good, but I just sort of started getting into riding my rally Amazon around the woods every day and started to miss it. So when we got to one of the islands in the Caribbean, I saw a bike hire and it was like the best day of my year by miles. I picked up at 8 a.m. and just stand up wheelie all day long. And then I was just like, that's me. I need to get home and ride my bike. When we got back from that one year away, he was, I don't know where it had come from, but he was really keen to get a, a downhill bike, not a normal bike and then he wanted to race practically immediately as well, so that was it. From my love of cycling, actually my family's kind of got into it more and more as well. And so my mum just, she rides more than me, her drivetrain's worn out like a couple of months later, I can't believe it. Ferg lives just over the road, I used to live with Ferg and then moved 50 metres away. Liam lives just around the corner, Lachlan's not far away, so we've got like, yeah, really little group of boys and used to all travel together to race and that's sort of where it all came from um, and then you start training together talking about racing developing and we sort of created our own team so when we were building the clubhouse like it's definitely it's got everything you need but not in not in the way you'd expect it like the gym upstairs if I, if I need a medicine ball we just tape some bubble wrap around some gravel and just start using that. Or like everything's homemade and uh, it's the same in the workshop. No point going out and buying it if there's some scrap metal around the corner you could somehow shape into a useful tool. And that's sort of the philosophy we've gone with and it seems to work. Yeah, I think digging our own tracks, I think it happens all over the world. Definitely all over Scotland, every little town has its own tracks. but. Definitely each town's got its own terrain as well. So we've got Fort William, which is it's kind of soft dirt and rains a lot. So like the, the ruts cut in pretty deep and the terrain changes a lot. So that definitely shapes the way I ride. Where, where are we part of the sport is like just leaning into turns and sliding the back wheel. It comes from all the ruts around here, like you, you can't turn your handlebars, it doesn't work. You just have to slide both wheels together and uh, that's just like, it's just from growing up really right on this, these trails that we've dug and like the terrain cuts in and you get ruts and yeah, so steering isn't an option, you just have to push the back wheel around the turns and like that's my favourite style of riding. Oh, well, he hit me hard, yeah, he hit me good. Then I fell to the ground. But I kicked him fast, I kicked him real swift. He came a tumbling down. Took a stab at me and nearly cut my guts up. I kicked that knife to the floor. Then I took his head and slammed it into the bar. I don't think he'll come around no more. I think he really loves home and 
everything about it really. Yeah, good. He likes the right riding and he likes being amongst all his friends and yeah, yeah, I think he really feels Fort Williams is home. Yeah. I'm good. Good. I'm really good. Hey, no. <laughs>